first when we arrived um, over here i was a bit nervous because it was first time for me traveling to japan i was not sure what will happen but from the starting day when all the teams met it was really great um, we all really connected with each other very well it was a very friendly atmosphere we helped each other a lot and definitely our teacher frank he uh, never let us go we always had some kind of assignment to do but it was never tiring we all had a learning experience and we all got to learn a lot from this boot camp sekai jiu no hito ga start up ni kyoumi o motte irashyaru っていうのにも驚きましたしその自分の研究だけじゃないスタートアップあと周りの方の分野関係ないモチベーションを知るという意味では得るものが多かったです。I really, really enjoyed the boot camp. This is really my first sort of experience with entrepreneurship, like education, and I feel like I learned so much over the course of the boot camp. The material was all really good and sort of timely. This is my first time attending an accelerator program, and、um, throughout the two week course, I actually learned a lot because before coming here, I haven't been into any sort of business development or startup yet. So I learned a lot about customer discovery, business development, and also about cash flow and how you、uh, build a hypothesis and test it、uh, with your customer through the customer discovery. So for me, that was a very great experience that I got to learn a lot. Impression for me, this is my first、um, boot camp on outside Thailand, and、um, what I love the most is the、um, networking that、uh, we have here.、Uh, basically, I enjoy having perspective on my thoughts and、uh, what we do、uh, from international level,、uh, which is my first time having it. And、um, it's very thought-provoking. Biggest thing for me is that France told me,、uh, you know, don't rely on governments as your first customer because they're quite slow, and a startup needs to be fast and execute fast.、Uh, so that was a very good bit of, of advice for us. 非常にあの今回のプログラムはフランス先生もいろんな経験がありますので本当のそういうビジネスの話をいろいろ聞くことができまして非常に有意義だったと思います細かい話ではまあ我々はサイエンティストといいます技術者ですのでプレゼンテーションの仕方はできるだけ情報をたくさん聞いてもらおうと思ってスライドがぐちゃぐちゃになるんですけどそこをいろいろ指摘していただきまして簡単にするというのは技術が必要だということも勉強させていただきました I learned how to do the things and think less Like, okay, we already have the research and all the scientific background or project, so we need to move up to the next stage, move to production and try to sell our product. That is the next stage. This is not the place for the competition. We are helping each other. So we really, really learn you know, each other's、uh, you know, opinion how we can actually grow, maybe together with, because、uh, some of them may be helping us to make some sort of like, you know, the products. And we never felt this is not a competition, this is a collaboration、mm-hmm. of helping us out, helping us to success outside, like, giving us connection. And everything was really smooth. It was amazing for us. The first thing I learned was to be able to enjoy the startup and be able to enjoy the startup. So, I'm going to be able to enjoy the startup. So, I'm going to be able to enjoy the startup. So, I'm going to be able to enjoy the startup. So, I'm going to be able to enjoy the startup. So, I'm going to be able to enjoy the startup. So, I'm going to be able to enjoy the startup. So, I'm going to be a b l あの本当にここに残ってる人たちは先ほどもありましたけどあの本当にどのビジネスも世の中に出してインパクトある事業だと思ってますしあの沖縄に来てやってほしいなってずっと思ってますでもいやほんなんかいやあっから4写真絞らないといけないっていうかすごくなんかもったいないなと思ってすいませんあの皆さん頑張ってほしいなと思ってます Basically, two core messages in this program. The first one is that it doesn't matter how smart you are as a researcher, as an entrepreneur, it doesn't determine the success of your company. What is more important is that you learn to listen to your potential customers and figure out whether they really have a problem and come up with a really good solution. Actually, there you need to be smart, come up with a good solution. But the core skill is to listen and figure out the market. Only customers determine your success, not how smart you are, how good you can pitch. 
The second sort of at the heart of the program message is that you should still use your scientific brain. If you become an entrepreneur, it doesn't mean that suddenly everything is like inspirational. No, you have to be really smart, data driven. And one of the great things that you learn as a researcher is to think analytical, formulate hypotheses and test them. And the way we test them is a little different from how you do it in the lab. There's a little less control. So a lot of it is interview techniques, um, but that determines a lot of your success as a startup founder.